So hello and thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. In this two-part series, we're going to talk about some of the features and functions in Maximo that support condition-based maintenance. Some you may be familiar with, other perhaps not. My name is John Q. Todd. I'm one of the senior business consultants and product researchers here at TRM. Allow me to be your guide for the next few minutes. So very quickly about TRM. We've been implementing Maximo for almost 30 years in just about every industry you can think of. We continue to be the go-to implementer for Maximo and also for the new Maximo application suite. TRM is also an ISO 27001 registered cloud host. So let's get started with our subject at hand. Much has been written about condition-based maintenance over the years, yet it seems maintenance organizations struggle to implement it. Maybe the software tools have not been so available or seem hard to use. Maybe the perception is that there are too many moving parts for it to be sustainable. So hang in there, especially if you can already have Maximo or are considering implementing the new IBM Maximo application suite. Some of the topics on the screen may be familiar, yet a few may be new functions that you might not know too much about. We'll work our way down the list in parts one and two. And in the end, we hope that you see how easy CBM is in your current and future Maximo. You may already know about being able to define meters and then associate them to asset and location records. Meters can be of three types. Continuous for things like odometers and run hours that have ever increasing values or a gauge where the reading is a single value, such as current pressure, temperature, things like that. And finally, a characteristic meter that is qualitative, like good, better, best, or a color reading for things like oil analysis. Given your meter definitions, you can then associate them with your assets or location, either individually or as a group. Once you make the relationship between the asset and the meter, now you can update the meter readings in several different ways. We'll talk more about that in part two, but you can update them manually or by way of an interface where they get updated automatically from equipment telemetry. No matter the method used, you can see the current meter readings, when they were taken and who entered them. As a side note, now that you have meters defined, you can use them on preventative maintenance definitions of which will then generate work orders as thresholds are being reached. The stage is set for CBM. Now we get into something that might be new to you, setting up the actual measurement points using the condition monitoring application in Maximo. They do several things. Establish upper and lower warning and alert limits, call that your thresholds if you will. Define job plans and work order priorities to apply to any generated work orders. And if a characteristic meter is being used, you can define actions for Maximo to take. Warnings are emails sent to the concerned parties when a threshold is crossed. Actions are either taken by a user or where Maximo will generate a work order. You can also see the history of any generated work orders as well as the meter readings. Stop here a moment to ponder what we've built. We've defined meters and attached them to our asset or location records in Maximo. The meter readings are being updated either manually by our work teams or automatically by way of technical interfaces. Maximo now knows the limits, the thresholds for each measurement point and will generate warning emails or work orders if those thresholds are exceeded. With just a few steps, we've created an automated environment using our criteria that lets us know when there's a problem. Well, how cool is that? So part one was a very quick look at meters and measurement points, something you may already know about. Be sure to take a look at part two for the rest of the list. So thank you so much for your time for watching this video. You can always contact us at trmnet.com. That's trmnet.com. And you can always find me on LinkedIn. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.